Today we're going to talk about relationships, forgiveness, and why it may be stopping you from finding love from Bali. Well, hello. If you don't know who I am, my name is Erica Angelo. I am the CEO and founder of the Erica Angelo Intimacy Experience. And we're going to talk about that one thing that really can block, stop, prevent intimacy, love, and that's unforgiveness. We're going to talk about forgiveness. Now, I'm going to show you some clips of me here in Bali. I went to the Tirta Impu, which is a, a temple here, and they have what is known to be healing waters. Uh, and you, when you go under the waters, you're to let go. And then at the end, you make a wish. So I'm going to show you some clips of that right now. When we think about forgiveness, we think that mm, not such a big topic or it's that area that hits that very soft place in our hearts where we just can't let go. Now, let me just preface it. A lot of times we hear that we should just let go. And I did a video on that about why I find that so frustrating because what does that actually look like? Forgiveness is part of the process of letting go. Why do we forgive? We forgive because it is the, ch when we don't forgive, it's that channel in our heart that stops flowing. The love that is meant to flow through the heart when there's unforgiveness there, it blocks it. And so love can't come in, love gets prevented. So you see people who do all sorts of work to improve themselves, uh, but yet they never forgive and they wonder why love isn't coming in. Why even in their relationships where love is blocked and stopped, where they're just um, co-mingling, they're just cohabitating with one another, but there's no love, there's no real intimacy. And many times, chances are that it's unforgiveness, we're not forgiving. And forgiving goes really deep. We forgive our past, we forgive our parents, we forgive ourselves or for even wronging ourselves. And when we're in relationships, it's bound to happen. Our partners are gonna frustrate us. They're going to hurt us. And we always have a decision to make to forgive and let go or not. And when we don't, it blocks the flow. Now continue watching. At the end of this video, I'll share with you more fun clips and it won't be as serious. I'll show you me swinging from a swing in the rice terrace and that's amazing. But I'm gonna show you another clip. I got to meet with the healer here from Eat, Pray, Love, Wyan, and she was amazing. And I wanna show you just a little clip of her and I together. So as I spoke with her, um, it was very deep, it was very intense, but she brought up something very interesting and I'll use my own personal life to share with you why forgiveness is so important. She traced back to certain years and she said 12 years ago, um, you're very angry with someone. And seven years ago, 
you're very angry with someone. And because you hold on to this anger, it's physically hurting you. It's clouding your liver. And I traced back those times in my life and could pinpoint where I was very angry with particular people. And the thought that my body could suffer repercussions from holding on to anger and not forgiving and not letting go um, kind of woke me up. And I want to encourage you that when we forgive, not only do we set our hearts up to be able to not only give love but receive love, but we also assist and aid our body because when we hold on to anger, unforgiveness, it physically harms us. Now I could continue to go on and on, but I do want to share this one little part with you. And I won't explain why because that's very technical and it's stuff that I do with my clients, but and we don't have enough time to share that here, but there may be people in your life and you think, I have forgiven that person. But if I were to ask you about that person, you would probably say, oh, that person's an idiot or that person's this or that person's that. We can know that we've truly forgiven and let someone go when there's no charge there. There's no reaction to that person. Here's the beauty of forgiveness is sometimes it is a process and sometimes it's a layer. Sometimes it's not just all done in one swoop. Sometimes a year later, another portion of our heart comes up where we need to forgive that person. We need to let them go from the chains that we're holding them bound to. So if that's you and you say, man, I still have a reaction. I still have a charge around this particular person. Uh, don't be discouraged. Everything that you've done has brought you to here. It's just another process of your heart removing another layer. So it's okay, everything you've done is wonderful. And it, as I said, it, it's brought you here. But I really wanna encourage you, if you really want to allow love to flow in, whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, there is no bypassing. Let me say that again. There is no bypassing forgiveness. It is the one thing, think of it as a pipe cleaner. It is the pipe cleaner to our hearts. It keeps our hearts flowing so that love can come in and out, in and out. So I want to encourage you, if you're having challenges, you're having blockage with receiving love, that you ask your intuition, you ask your divine, you, you ask your emotions, who am I not forgiving? And position your heart to say, you know what, I don't know what forgiveness looks like, but divine, higher source, God, Jesus, help me to forgive this person because if I don't let them go, then I don't have the love that I was made for, that I was designed for, that is within me, that I crave. I keep it at bay. I resist it and I don't let it flow. And I no longer want to allow that to happen. So make sure that you stay till the end of this video because there's some fun footage that I have just for you guys. And I wanna encourage you, I know forgiveness can be a very challenging thing and sometimes you need to hire a coach like myself to help walk you through that. But whatever path you need to take, I highly encourage you to forgive and to let that person go. And listen, I know that intimacy can be very complex and I have an online course that I've created. It's an intimacy introduction. And what I establish in that course is I teach you what is the foundation to intimacy. And without this, there is no intimacy. And I highly encourage you, if you're on this journey of love and intimacy and you want more love in your life, I really highly encourage you to get this course because it is the foundation, it is the cornerstone, it is the bridge that allows intimacy to flow to and fro. So make sure that you get that. It's in the description below. You can get it on my website, ericaangelo.com or the little eye on your YouTube screen. It's right there and you can grab it. I love you so much. Know that you are not alone. Know that you are supported on this journey of the heart and forgiving and allowing love to flow freely and being able to receive the love that you so deserve. Take care.